okay so through this video tu tutorial what we are trying to do is we are going to discuss a software engineering final paper actually the 2014 final paper with you so the whole idea is to give you an idea like how to approach a question uh, especially the three questions based on the practical scenarios so if you go to the f very first question this is based on the knowledge of use case diagrams and use case scenarios so here actually they have given a practical scenario about a games lab software. So what we are trying to do is we have to go through the scenario and then we will try to come up with the use case diagram and also the small questions they have asked for. So here uh, now based on this games lab software scenario they have asked a question when analyzing the requirements of software system name the types of common errors you find so this is actually kind of some theoretical knowledge you need to have uh, there are several uh, main three errors you can find out ambiguous incomplete and inconsistent so these are the main three types of requirement errors you can find out and also it asks you to briefly describe an error in the requirements for the games lab software so if you go through the scenario actually you will find out somewhere in the second paragraph it says a game master should have a valid user account but then again it doesn't clearly explain why he need this particular valid user account for so there we can identify an error an incomplete requirement error and then you can explain it on your own words so these are few small questions uh, on the theoretical aspect and then the next major part is we have to come up with the use case diagram for the game slab system so here now if you go through the scenario uh, this first paragraph pretty much talks about or try to give you an overall idea about the game slab system so the main important thing is identifying actors who are going to trigger the main functionalities of the system so here if you talk about uh, the actors they have given some actors like game creator game master administrator researcher and sometimes you might find other actors while you are going through the scenario so here um, it says game creator creates a game so one of the main functionality of a game creator is creating a game and if you come to game master he is the person who is monitoring and running a game so this could take as one main feature of him and then also he controls the non-player characters and it says the game master should have a valid user account so administrator is responsible for the server and user account management players connect to the game with mobile devices and researchers are using the statistical data so here actually researcher is also an actor for the given game slab software system so likewise you can get an overall idea through the first paragraph about this system and then if you go to the second paragraph actually this whole paragraph talks about the game creator so through this let's try to identify what are the main functionalities is going to trigger so here it says the game creator can create a game so as we identified earlier also this is one of the main functions so it can be done in two different ways either he can use a game editor tool or plain text editor and uh, now if you think about in the perspective of use case diagrams you can show this actually there are two ways the game creator can create a game so you can use use case generalization in order to show this so also here it says before submitting a completed game the game creator must perform a test run 
So, if you take submitting a completed game, that's one use case he is going to have. And before doing that, he must always perform a test run. So, in here, in a situation like this, you can use include relationship. Then, game creator can assign game masters to a game. That's one of the main functions of him. And when assigning a game master to a game, if the game master does not have a valid user account, the administrator should create a user account for him. So, in this situation, we can add an extend use case to the game creator requesting to create a valid user account for the game master. Now, this overall, this gives an idea about the game creator and his functionalities. So, if we uh, show this in a use case diagram, this is how we have to indicate it. So, game creator can create a game. Since there are two ways, we discuss it through uh, use case generalization. And before submitting a game, he has to perform a test run. So, this can be shown using an include relationship. And also, when assigning a game, if in case game master doesn't have valid account, game creator can request to create a user account. So, likewise, try to develop this diagram stage by stage. If you go to the next one, it talks about the game master. So, the game master can start the game or else he can join the game if the game is already started. So, here also, since there is an extension point you can clearly identify, you can use an extend relationship to join the two use cases. And also, it says the game master has the right to control the non-player characters. So, in controlling non-player characters, the game master has to select the NPC and the actions from a given list. So, he need to select the NPC and also he need to select the actions from a given list. This is uh, when we are talking about the game master. So, if you go to the diagram here, game master can start a game and join a game with this extend or extension point and then he can control NPC and he has to do two main important things select NPC and select actions which we can indicate using include relationship. Now, if you go further down a player has to create a character. So, again player is another actor in the given software system. So, player can create a character. When creating a character, he has to fill the required information. That is one important thing. And after submitting the required information, the player is asked to enter username for the new character. So, if the username is already in use, the player is asked to choose a new username. So, there is kind of a validation is going on. And also, password verification is also going on. So, once all this is happened, the player can join the game. So, these are the main functionalities we can identify through the scenario and if we indicate in the diagram, so you can say player can has to create a character. So, creating a character includes filling required information, validating username and finally validating a password. So, once all these are over, player can join the game. So, you can indicate it in the diagram in this manner. So, apart from that, in the earlier, if you can remember, we said there are two other characters in the system. One is a researcher and the other one is an administrator. So, administrator is responsible for server and user account management and researcher is responsible for using the statistical data. So, now you can complete your diagram by including researcher and admin and finally, do not forget to include the boundary with the name of the system. So, this is the approach you have to follow when it comes to uh, draw a use case diagram with a given real time scenario. So, this is one of the major parts of the question. 
and also there's another part you have to complete they are you, they are asking you to write a use case scenario for creating a character in games lab system that means if you go to the diagram it's one of the main functions of the player where he's going to create a character so now you can see by looking at the diagram you can write step by step scenario to come up with the create character use case scenario so here few uh, things are really important first of all you have to give the name and summary and also the actors and preconditions if there are any so at least you need to have some of these uh, things included when you are writing the use case scenario so the name is creating a character and there is a small summary given actor is the player of the game and there is a precondition the creator of the game has created a game and submitted it into the system then only the player can create a character now you can go to the important thing of use case scenarios main success scenario and extensions so now uh, here it starts saying the player connects to the game's website and then the player chooses create character option then you can say the player selects the game to which he or she wants to create a character for then the player fills in the needed information so here there is an extension point if in case some of the filled in information is not acceptable the player is asked to correct false information so likewise for each and every step you need to identify whether there are any extensions if you go to the fifth step the player enters a username and then the username could be already in use so the player has to enter a new username likewise there are extensions for step number four five and six so this is the normal scenario you have to follow when you are writing a use case scenario and also rather than writing like this you can uh, say uh, since create character player is having three includes at the relevant point in the scenario you can say include then you can include the correct use case so if as an example if I say field required information I can get indicate it like this so this means you need to write another use case scenario for this field required information use case like this also you can uh, indicate in the use case scenario so either way is correct so normally this is how you need to approach the question which is based on use case diagrams and scenarios.